right, three, two, one. Now put your hand over him. Lights on? Okay, so, you can see on three, let's go ahead and take our hands off. Ready, one, two, three. That was pretty good. That was chemical, which is called ethanol. Okay, ethanol is uh, combustible. So what you're going to see happen in here is the same thing that happens in like a car engine. Um, when when a, a vehicle has gasoline that catches on fire and get, creates that internal combustion in an engine. Okay, I also want you to think about the byproducts of what's actually going to happen as a result of this reaction inside this bottle. Okay, so what we're going to do, you guys good at lighting matches? Nice. I'm going to give you each your own mock, uh, match. Ryan. <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> so it's got a strike thing on the side. Man, handing a student they matches. Oh, yeah. uh, smart. Okay. With an extremely flammable So here's what's going to happen. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of ethanol in each one. Okay? Just a little. And... I've seen this before. What we're gonna do yeah, is like flame shut up. It's like shut up. we are gonna coat all the edges yeah. of the bottle with with that ethanol. Okay, so that uh, it's kind of just overtaking the bottle. Okay, we shouldn't have too much leftovers here. Okay, we're gonna coat those edges. We're gonna coat those edges. Is there gonna be an explosion? Is that what you asked? Yes. Okay, so here's what I want you guys to do when we talk when we start. You're gonna light a match together. Okay? And at the same time on three, you're gonna not hold it over the top, but drop it in. Okay? And then stand back. Did you catch that last part? Stand back. Stand back. Okay, and then once once it happens, I'm gonna ask you to be courageous and come back up and put your hand on the top of the lid. <laughs> so be ready for that. I'll tell you when you need to. Okay, let's try it. All the way around there with the lights. Okay, light your matches. Oh man. Okay, ready? <laughs> put them in. Uh, this one worked. Okay, put your hand over. Are you sure? Yes, I already got it. <laughs> ready? You see the bottle sucking in now? Okay, now we're gonna take it off on three. Ready? One, two, three. Like yours didn't work. No, he, let's try yours again. His mouth let's, let's, let's leave the lights on for this his one. We'll while he's getting up the second one, you guys should be able to, I think on the fourth question or whatever under that, let's, let's talk about why it collapses when I cap it. And think about can implosion, that, those of us that saw that one. Oh, because the air isn't able to come through the opening, so it compresses inside. Okay, so we have the idea that air can, sure? can't come through. But what's causing this, this thing to collapse as soon as they go, ksh? Julian? Because, like, the oxygen gets cut off, and it needs, like, fire, like, it needs oxygen, and since it was just, like, a little flame, like, yeah. Like, I don't know. I was guessing. You're ready to do that. We'll you ready to do one more? Let's see it in the light, and then think about what's causing that thing to come in as we're doing this one again. Try it again. Nice. <laughs> Put your hand over. Nice. Great. Now it's starting to collapse in. Okay, now take your hand off. Very good. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> now, is it warm? Feel it. It's warm in there. Okay, that's the same type of thing that's happening in your car engine. You see why those pistons move back and forth. But now, um, when you have that Different. intense heat and all that consumption of oxygen inside, what's happening to the air pressure inside? Can we say it's going up or down? Make a guess with your thumb. Up or down for the air pressure inside there. I need to see votes with thumbs, up or down. As, the, as we put our hand over, we see it collapsing in. Do you think the air pressure is going up or down inside? And outside, is it going up or down? So let's take a vote for the inside. What's happening first? Is it going up or down? Both. Oh. I have a little bit of both. Uh, what's actually happening here is in the middle, uh, the air pressure is lower after that reaction happens and after that heat and consumption of all that oxygen happens in there. Uh, the air pressure inside is lower. The air pressure outside stays the same. But properties of air and weather, which we'll talk about, before Christmas as well, is 
um, as the high pressure on the outside always wants to move towards the low pressure, so it's actually the air on the outside pressing in on the, on the container, just like you felt in the vacuum bag last week. Uh, the same type of things happen when you put your hand over that and uh, creates that vacuum seal and boom. Okay, very cool. What do you think, Ms. Ryan? Um, chemical reaction. Number three is asking you, did a chemical reaction take place? How many, let's do a, a, another vote, get everyone's voice in the room. Um, thumbs up, yes. Thumbs down would be a no, I don't think a chemical reaction oh. took place. <coughs> okay, so I'm seeing majority is going, we still got a little bit of both. So let's hear someone that's saying yes, a chemical reaction. Let me hear your explanation. Um, well, because the my, or the fire from the match is reacting with the ethanol, so it makes a flame. Okay, so he's saying that the, the idea that I saw a flame is giving me evidence that I, I actually have had a chemical reaction. Someone that said no chemical reaction, can we hear your thoughts or an explanation? <laughs> so yes, we would. It is a chemical reaction, and what Mr. Bergman is writing on the on the board right now is that chemical reaction. Number four. Um, number four. We're going to skip for now and come back to this because we haven't really talked about conservation of mass, but we will um, come back to that idea. All right. So before we move on, I want you to look at this equation on the board. This arrow in the middle we haven't learned about, but that's kind of like an equal sign saying this is the before and before we had ethanol in the bottle. And after we apply the match to it, we had water and carbon dioxide as a result. So what you'll notice is all the same elements, a C is present on both sides, the H's are present on both sides, and same with the O's over here, they're on both sides. Okay, so it's just rearranging what's with what for that chemical reaction. And before we start with ethanol, when we get done, we have water and carbon dioxide, two very new uh, chemicals. Uh, in fact, you can still see a little liquid in there. That is not ethanol anymore. That's water that uh, can drip out. Uh, we don't have very much. Uh, and what do you think happened to the CO2? Because there was CO2 that also was released. What do you think happened to that? Uh, it went out and then just went down like... It went place. out, and where does it go once it's out? Down because of density, right? But it's bottom line is it's in our air. And we're going to talk a lot in the next couple weeks about adding extra CO2 from burning things into our air. So just remember this demo when we talk about that stuff. Any other questions about the whoosh bottles? Those ones are kind of fun. Okay. Oh my God! I want to light a match. I know. What's probably a little easier than if you do Okay, turn the lights off. Turn the lights on now. Oh, I forgot to tell you to cap it. That scared the crap out of us. You can see right now that it's not on. It's so bad.